Oh, wow, there's so many clams. Look at all of these little guys. All right, little clam clams. You guys are going to end up becoming some shellfish soup. And I'll see if there's maybe some more types of soup that Ralph likes. Now that we know he loves green pottage. Oh, that was a big relief. But all right, hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to our wonderful Wild Woods Farm here in Olive Town, where I am so busy, even though the sun has set and the time is passing. All right, let's go ahead and grab, there we go, this thread. Trust me, I am still just as busy as where we left off last time, having just upgraded a whole bunch of our tools, including our fishing rod and, ooh, you know what? I should try out our new fishing rod. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna stand here in the water and then we're gonna actually try out our new, you guys ready for this? Iron fishing rod. I really should upgrade it to silver as soon as we can. But for now, I haven't fished in forever. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we'll see if we can go ahead and reel this fish in. We're going, we're going, we're going. All right, don't let it get away. Okay, and then reel it in. <gasps> we got a whiskered velvet shrimp. Oh, that's so cool. Well, now we'll be able to go ahead and make some more grilled fish whenever we're gonna be hanging out with Iori after we finish finding George's first heart event. And otherwise, a little sardine! I guess we can make Iori like the smallest snack size like grilled fish ever, but it would probably be okay. All right, wait, 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 wait. We don't wanna let that fish get away. And another velvet shrimp! <laughs> Okay, we could have so much fun with that. I'm definitely going to have to go ahead and like sell one of those velvet shrimp now. Huh. But yes, yeah, so welcome back guys. So what I actually wanted to work on today is planting our coconut and our cocoa seedlings and then figuring out if I can make a cheese maker for this amazing milk plus so we can have like the fanciest cheese possible. All right. So what would it take to make a cheese maker now that we have unlocked that? Well, we would need to have three normal lumber and two silver ingots. And I'm out of silver and I kind of need silver for a ton of things, including my newest dream of being able to get these sprinklers going so that we can go ahead and just let it automatically tend some crops so that I can start a little flower meadow around the hen coop. How wonderful you guys think that would be if we had the hen coop and the little horse stable just surrounded by a flower meadow. Oh, my heart, I really want that. So I guess that means today we're gonna be working on going into the mines to get more silver and then also making room for a line of coconuts and more tropical seedlings to be planted along here. All right, so let's see. Do I have a good spot for the coconut seedling? I really, oh, right here. Yes, look how cute it is. I really wanna line coconuts up along the side of the beach. And I really wanna be able to have some adorable cocoa seedlings. Oh, those are perfect. I love it, I love it. So we'll try to keep this area kind of clear so that we can keep it full of like coconut trees. And I'll need to earn the money to get the coconut trees to make that happen. All right, let's put this thread away real quick. Eh. All right, there we go. Okay, and it is getting late, but I wonder if we're gonna be able to grab maybe some silver ore really quickly. And I still need to pick up our, let's see. Because we have these things. Let's knock down. Let's knock down these rocks because they actually show up on the surface so I don't have to go mining for them. Oh yay, we got another little harvest sprite. I need to climb the magic beanstalk and spend more time with the harvest sprites at some point so that we can just get all of the rare flowers from them. <gasps> but we should go ahead and get the seed maker first and then we'd be able just to grow our own rare flowers. Oh, you guys, I love that. We should talk to Ralph about how we'll be able to like fill this place up. Yay, another little guy. How we'll be able to fill this place up to the brim with all sorts of native wildlife too. And then these native plants. We should have some little forest areas where we try to grow the native plants. I love that idea. All right, but time is passing me by really ridiculously qu like quickly. So 
thankfully I can get exactly two of those silver ores done. And we'll send in these ingots. All right. I know, I know, wild secret. We're really having to like hoof it. No pun kind of intended because you know you're a horse. All right, we're gonna come in. Hopefully not wake our beautiful hens. Can I still pet them even though it's so late? There you go, guys. Sorry to wake you all. All right, Henrietta will give you a little pet. And then I actually need to try selling a few things and getting some sleep. All right, Wild Secret, thank you so much for all of your help today. I love how we're actually growing rice. That's very exciting. And do I have any more lumber? There we go, to get those supple logs constantly moving and grooving. There we are, because we need supple logs in order to build a whole bunch of things. Um, and I think we need, we need durable logs for the beehive, but I kind of wonder if I'm not going to be able to get the durable logs until I get more gold to upgrade the power of our axe, because it takes all of my day's energy to be able to go and use that durable log. <laughs> so we'll have to kind of come back to that. All right, for now I'm going to sell the shrimp and the sardine. Sell the sap, because why not? And... Put the pepper in to start being turned into pepper I can use. And phew, okay. So now that it's actually super late, at least I planned, oh, see, our poor little puppers is sound asleep. At least I managed to go ahead and plant ourselves the coconut tree and the cocoa tree today. So there's one goal done. And now I kind of want to work on making that seed make, wow, we made so much money. <laughs> Mostly off of beans. Maybe I really need to get some more like automatic, automatic sprinklers going. Cause then we could have just a bunch of passive crops growing, but I need the seed maker. Cause then we could sell even higher quality stuff. All right. You know what? We're going to see if we can have the special event with George today to complete his role play special event focus. And then we're gonna see if we can go into the mines and get some, oh, wait, oh, okay, something new is happening. Never mind. We're having a different kind of special event today, apparently. Where are you two off to? Where's your puppy Buster that you guys are hiding? What's up, Cindy? I thought I heard someone singing. Singing? What? What's that? Who's there? <gasps> it's the wild kid! Oh, I've been wanting to meet her so badly! Is she gonna come and play with the two children? She has a little bone around her neck. The singing stopped. It was just your imagination. St stop trying to scare me like that. Oh, hey, what am I doing here? Were you the one singing just now? Is someone over there? Ah, a ghost. Oh, Mikey. This is just a prank, right? I don't believe in ghosts, but don't leave me, Mikey! Oh, the kids ran off. <gasps> there she is! Hi, little one! Who are you? Oh, she talks! Your name is Siri? Um, I think I've been sleeping for a really, really long time. But what am I supposed to do now that I'm awake? She's just a little wild kid. Is she like an orphan? Come here, kidlet. Oh, you guys. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm really glad we just got all that fodder from like the mayor because it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a rainy day. At least I don't have to water the crops. But like, where's that kid? Dude, oh, hey, our hibiscus grew. But I can't just like, I can't just like abandon that kid. <laughs> what? How do I even cope with that? Like, where is she? Is she on my little list now? All right, I'm searching. I'm searching. Oh man. Is she over here now? Where's the kidlet? I dreamed about her. Oh my word. I, I do not appreciate being taunted with orphans, okay? Because I really feel like that's that's just not cool. I need to make sure that she's alright. 
Oh, okay. And today we also need to run over to the dock so we can maybe have that special. You know what? We're going to wait on the special event with with what's his bucket for just a little bit because I have a little bit of a problem with not knowing where that kidlet is. And that, like, do we have another area we can go to with the harvest sprites? All right. Hey, you guys. Let's go to Sprite Village and I need to have a talk. Oh, <gasps> babies! Oh my heart. The idea of having a baby. With who though? That's another question. Okay, so let's see if anything's different over here. I have seven new followers. Um, oh, perfect. That, that fits the 30 I wanted to give the grass sprite and then we'll start working on the stone sprite. I wonder if having one of them just like reach a hundred should be our goal. Uh, I think I like doing it like this so that everybody gets a chance to kind of level up. All right, anybody over here? Do you guys know anything about this random kid? She did look a little wild. Uh, I don't think they do. Fooey. Well, I wanted to check over here just in case. All right, speaking of the shops though, tea leaves. They've also got, oh, they've got a lot of glass rocks and things today. Look at you guys go in Moondrop and Pink Cat Flowers. Well, I'm actually okay on those things for right now, but thank you. Also, Sprite Boss, you know what? I want to take a cool picture of him real quick under his big old tree. And we'll zoom out a little. Because look how cool he looks, like sitting here with his tree. Oh, and he's got the little sprites running up to him. <laughs> Maybe to report in on like their activities and what they've been doing. Aww. I wonder if anyone would see like the sprites in the picture or if like I'm the only one who can see them. Am I the only one who can see that kid? Ow! I really want to be able to get an owl. A picture of an owl would be so cool. We need to talk with Ralph about things like that. Oh, all right. Well, where on earth was I? I'm very distressed by a little lost orphan. Um, personally, I find that I find that concerning. I hope that other people would too. There we go. I was trying to make a cheese maker. That's what I was doing. And what do I need for the cheese maker? Oh, good. Just those two silvers and then some planks. We can totally make ourselves a cheese maker. Excellent. I would be happy to get that out of the way. Also, very happy that my hibiscuses are ready to harvest. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. I'm going to save my really, really good milk. How much is my... 351 gold for the really, really good milk. Whoops. So I wonder with the milk plus, if I turn that into cheese, it has to be worth something good. All right, let's get this cheese going. Cheese, please. I actually like cheese more than yogurt too, so we're actually going to clear away the yogurt facility just because. Put it away. And then I need some lumber. Put these away. And then I need to go grab the silver. Oh! Oh, my pumpkins are ready to harvest! How exciting! Heck! Wild secret! There's just so much going on. Oh, and we need to feed all of our animals. Because they're going to be like, um, no, I don't want to come out in the rain. And we can give them some of the special feed that we actually got, too. All right. Come on, Wild Secret. You're going to help me get some of these things done today. First things first, let's get this cheese maker done. Still really concerned about, you know, the missing kid. But she seems to show up on her own time. I couldn't really tell where Mikey and... Cindy were playing to be able to try to find her. <gasps> Look at this cheese maker! It looks so cool! All right, let's see what happens if we try to make some cheese. And meanwhile, we'll keep that in there. Good, good, good. Heck! There's just a lot going on. All right, any more pepper? All right, we're good on our pepper. So, well, I guess with this kid... Oh, and F, the fodder, fodder, fodder. I'm sorry, guys. I knew I was forgetting something important. All right, we'll give our animals some of the super happy deluxe fodder today. Phew! And then you know what? I think we'll work on trying to go check out the mines for the rest of the day because we don't have much time left. So if we do that, there you go, Henrietta. I hope that you're having just such a wonderful time. She is maxed out, friends. Henrietta is like ultra happy. 
we should probably go ahead and make it so that she could start breeding soon. Because our lovely Henrietta. There's that. There you go, Sybil. But we should probably set it so that Henrietta can have some children. Because um, she wants to carry on the many generations of her family line. Which I find to be quite the noble goal. And we'll put the other half of the feed in for the other animals. I guess we have four animals in the barn now. Wow, it's amazing how time flies. Alright, we'll wiggle down here. I love taking care of everybody on the farm, though. Hey, Unta! Or Quantu! There you go. And we'll give you some deluxe fodder. Owlet, the little sheep that surprised me. And then Bluebell! Oh, darn it. No milk plus from her today. But it's exciting knowing that we might have the possibility for that. And I wonder if breeding our animals is how you actually end up with, like, higher quality milk. Because they're maxed out on friendship and happiness right now. But Bluebell and Cherrybell aren't giving us, like, higher than quality three milk. So maybe you end up with much, much more high quality milk once you actually have successive generations of your animals, which sounds really fun to work with. But all right, now that all of that is taken care of, the animals are fed for the day. I planted my coconut tree. We ended up having a super special event just randomly pop up. There's an adorable little weasel guy over there. You know what? I am gonna spend some time in the mines over here. Try to go for some gold. All right. Wild Secret, you go ahead and stay here. Because why not? I, I should go ahead and try to go for some gold over here, I think. Um, because I want that seed maker. I feel like that seed maker could really just like rewrite so much for us. So we're going for at least five gold, huh? And not only do I want the seed maker, I also want to be able to upgrade my axe and upgrade my hammer. And that's going to need gold and a ton of money. So, let's see what we can get from these mines. That's gonna be today's today's mission in the rain. All right, come on. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so hard. <laughs> Just getting the gold from outside before I'm even having to fight any any like very tough moles. The moles here are too are like too tough for me. I can't fight them. All right, come on. I think my problem, because there's so much to do in Story of Seasons is that I keep making the list bigger and bigger when it really helps just to focus on like one thing at a time. So seed maker, that's the goal. All right, come on. We already have two iron bars, I'm pretty sure. From coming in and smashing some of these in the past. Ooh, these guys are so hard. There, whew. All right, getting a little bit of treasure there. So now we would have three let's see three four pieces of gold and we need to get one more iron ore, or one more gold ingots worth of ore and then we can have ourselves four pieces of gold also look at all these mushrooms i wonder if ralph would appreciate the mushrooms like because they're from the wild <gasps> that baby again all right let's do this you guys we gotta take this kind of seriously. Grab the silver, avoid pitfalls, and just completely avoid those really tough and rough, wild and rowdy moles because they are too much for me. We do not want to run into them because I actually cannot defeat them yet. All right, give me the gold. Whoa, I thought like there was a special event happening for just a second because everything started changing. All right. Silver. Oh, look, there's an Orvane. Okay, gotta watch out for those guys. All right, watch out, watch out. They've got a bigger range of effect this time, I think. Oh sweet, look at that! We got some we got some ore! <gasps> What's that? There's actually something kind of rare looking. A raw diamond! We ended up with raw diamond? Okay, being able to dig around in here is gonna be so much fun if I don't end up getting bopped by these moles. It does seem like they can actually chase us down a little. 
Okay, come on. Anything good? Anything good? No, just rocks. Watch out for the moles. All right, just rocks. This actually reminds me of Room Factory Frontier, trying to go in and do some of the mining and collecting in the dungeons without getting completely like destroyed. All right, there we go. This is what we wanted. All right, what else can we find down here? Oh, good. Oh, no, 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 not good, not good, not good. Oh, he's really beating me up. Oh my gosh. Rude. Note to self, you want to be a little cautious around those guys. All right, there we go. Okay, we're actually doing really good, but man, is it hard to go ahead and work in these mines. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. And they continue to hurt you the longer you stick with them too. <gasps> what? Yes! We just unlocked a whole new amazing thing! Woo! You've unlocked the, the recipe for the jewel maker. By processing your raw gems, you can sell them for a much higher price. <gasps> jewelry! We can make jewelry now! I can do something maybe with like the diamonds and, and things. We aren't finding too many of these gemstones, but hey, it, that would be really fun. Whoa, whoa, look, we can make a round lamp now. So we would actually need, in order to go ahead and make the jewel maker, iron ingots, silver ingots, and a raw opal. And am I ever proud that I did not do anything with the raw opal that that earth sprite gave me once upon a time? Because now we can go ahead and use it. And if we can make jewelry, then we can actually create Wow, when am I gonna find sapphire? These lockets and these jewelry rings, which apparently the villagers freaking love as gifts because why wouldn't they? It's freaking jewelry. That's so cool. Guys, I'm so proud of us. Okay, well, this was totally worth it if just to run into the mines for a minute and try to collect what we could. Ooh, ooh, watch out. And also to see just how tough it is going to be to gather up the gold. We really want to be careful because these these little moles are definitely too much for us. However, we have four, five, six. So we have six pieces worth of gold. I think we need to upgrade our hammer like ASAP for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we'll grab these. But all right, guys, I'm going to pop out of the mine before I go ahead and destroy myself today. <laughs> and then we have a mystery, a wild child roaming. We've now got the ability to go ahead and make like fancy jewelry. We've got some awesome milk. We've got some fantastic seeds. We've got a lot going on. I really need to go ahead and pick just one thing on our to-do list, like I said, and follow through. And for now, that's going to be the seed maker. So all right guys, if you could, do please leave a like if you would like some of our fancy diamonds we're gonna be working on. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye